Hello, this is Mr. Canali and Ms. Falvo. We are walking through a tutorial of how to use Wallsworth. We will be going through some different features. You might hear different comments, questions, or concerns. And let's get started. I'm on the Wallsworth yearbook page and I'm going to log in by clicking log in. It is loading and I'm already there. For our purposes today, we're going to go into online design, which is where you can upload templates, pictures, and edit your page. You will see the ladder come up with the different pages assigned to you, and you will see only a limited number of pages, but for myself and Ms. Falvo, we see the entire ladder. We're going to work on the introduction and table of contents, and by simply clicking on it, you can access your page. It says the preview is out of date but we're going to edit the spread. And here we have our spread. It is blank, but we can upload templates, pictures, and text. And first we're going to upload a layout or template rather, and we're going to click on template. And you can see there are already templates built in from the Wallsworth website. And on the ladder, there's an index of the different templates that we'll be using for each page. So if we're looking at the introduction and table of contents, we might want to use a template from over here. We'll just say for today, it's true story. Although they did already pick them, right? We did pick them, but this is just because I don't have my reference sheet on me right now. I'm just showing you how you can simply drag and drop. And it is inserting the template. Wallsworth is very polite asking you to please wait. In your book, we're not just teaching you how to design a yearbook. We're also teaching you the virtue of patience. So that looks like a disaster, but everything is highlighted right now, and that can be a little bit overwhelming. So I'm going to click out of the frame, and now I don't have all those text box available to me. <laughs> Sometimes I lose my track of speech, and I have trouble pronouncing plural words. Ms. Falvo is currently laughing at that. But this is uh, Latin. Um, only I can read it, so I'm going to delete it. <laughs> and we can move things around. We can change it as needed. You can write in this text box. Mr. No, let's double click, and we could. That's not a text box, so we're going to delete it. I <laughs> don't know what that is. But uh, we can insert a picture, so that'll be our next thing. We already have this template, so now we have these pre-selected boxes. They're formatted for us, so I'm going to click on it first, then go into my photo tray. I don't have any favorites yet, but I'm going to look at ooh, all these different albums that I have created. Homecoming, Pep Rally, Sample. Let's check out what's in Homecoming. Wow, look at all these pictures that Mr. Canale uploaded. It took him hours. Find a file name. Let's go with the one that's right here. And we're going to simply drag and drop. And now you'll see that gets a really interesting close up of a part of the picture that we don't want to focus on. So we're going to double click. We're going to crop the photo. Say, we want the reference point to be here. Much better. We can move that over a little bit. And we're going to click Done. And now we have a cropped photo already set in that frame. And we could change the text to say, Go Cheer, Emily Hernandez sits with two other people. I 
don't know their names, Ms. Falvo does, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to reference them as two other people. And there we go. Easy, simple, and we're going to do it again. Click on the reference point, go into photo tray, drag and drop. Replace text with the image. Same thing, I'm going to edit this picture so that my reference point is as I intend it to be with the cheerleaders and not the corner of the school in the sky. And done. And now be sure that when you're leaving, you don't just exit out of the window. If you do that, you are liable to have a complete breakdown and cause Mr. Canale to lose his mind. You click File, Save and Close. Because I've already spent six minutes working on this, I don't want to ruin that. Save and Close. Please wait. Your spread is being saved. Now, the work that we just did is saved. We can exit out. We can log out. And when we log back in, you can access this from any computer anywhere, and you can continue working on it. If you'd like, you can add photos by going on to the next tab, next to Online Design, and click the button Upload Photos. Now, I don't want you to just upload photos willy-nilly. What I mean by that is don't upload anything to any album. We have albums because we are not chimpanzees. We know that things are categorized, that things have titles. So I'm going to create a new album called Winter Sports. And any picture that has to do with winter sports, I will simply upload the photo. I will choose photos, and then I will upload them into Winter Sports. And you can do that by dragging and dropping pictures from your desktop, or from another file location into that folder. If there is anything else that I have not addressed in this webinar today, then it is not important, nor is it relevant. Please stay focused, focus on the yearbook. Nothing else matters until April 16th.